Hey everybody, Victor von Klaus, snowboard expert here at Curated.com. Today we are out at beautiful Powder Mountain here in Utah, trying some next year's model snowboards, and today I'm on the ride 155.0. It's a nerd showdown. Whoever gets to the bottom last is the ultimate nerd. Well, looks like I'm the ultimate nerd this time. Just so you guys are aware, we're not sponsored or endorsed by any of these brands. This is just the direct scoop from me taking this out here and giving all the direct information out to you. So Ride claims this to be kind of like your park, groomer, resort, kind of your general all mountain board, but I would definitely say uh, leaning a little bit more towards the park side of things. You know, with that, again, asymmetrical true twin, you know, you're very much set up to for your switch landings and making sure you have all the control through, you know, that protruded edge on your heels and your a lot more precise toe edge here on your toes. Side, uh, it was pretty fun actually. Um, it's not as stiff as I thought it was gonna be in the 155. Um, so definitely still very playful. The asymmetrical side cut or the quadratic side cut they got on there with that asym uh, profile, it, it digs in really nice. Um, I really liked how the twin pig responded and this like gives me kind of a similar feel, but definitely a little bit more of a, I would say if it was a little smaller, I feel like it would probably be a really cool park board. Um, but I'm gonna have to ride a little bit more. We only just took like a couple turns. So we'll, we'll get a little bit better gauge here in a few minutes. If you've got questions, we've got answers for you. All of our experts here are super knowledgeable and we're eager to hear from you and would love to talk gear with you. So don't forget to either hit the link in the description below, or come on over to curated.com, get connected with one of our experts and we can find the right gear for you and your riding style. The edge hold is phenomenal. That's like the one thing with this board. It definitely has great edge hold because of that flat camber tip to tail. It will hold, but it'll also catch. <laughs> Carving this board definitely does really well. Uh, so it's a camber with a little tiny bit of rocker. On sort of like the mid stiffer side, it definitely held really good edge. Definitely a good carving board. So with that asymmetrical side cut on this guy, turns were were awesome. I mean, I really felt that they were, we were stable, very controlled, um, super dialed. You know, whether I really wanted to turn on a dime or really take a wide open carve when it's just hitting like the, the super open groomers. Lots of stability, surprisingly. Um, I would again, probably accredit that more to the size of this board. So again, that's gonna vary depending on the rider build as well as the sizing you pick for yourself. Uh, it did feel really nimble. The mid flex on it too gave it a nice kind of playfulness, but also enough uh, kind of just bite back to be able to really get that extra edge out of your turns. Really had no issues. Try to take it through some tighter trees and see if I could get into some trouble there. And it, it seemed to perform pretty well in that area as well. So for the freestyle approach on the zero here, uh, definitely is gonna be a bit tailored to that. Even in this bigger size for my build, I was still able to butter around on it. Could pop off the tail, could pop off the nose, definitely press it, butter some toast all day on the corduroy. If you wanna spin to win, or if you just wanna poke out a really big grab off of something, whether it's in the park or a side hit at your favorite resort, this guy is gonna be, it's gonna be great for it. It has awesome landing gear to stick landings. A lot better than I was actually expecting, to be completely fair. I, I was impressed, so I think that this will be this will be great for your freestyle approach, totally. So I would recommend this board to any intermediate expert, more park rider, uh, freestyle rider for groomers, but not too much of a beginner board. This is definitely a little bit more edgier camber rocker design. And if you like this content, you're in luck. We're gonna be putting out a lot more here soon. So again, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Comment down below if you got a particular piece of gear, whether it's board, boots, and bindings that you want us to check out, and we'll definitely take a look at it for you. So just like the riders who ride the snowboards, all snowboards are unique. And sometimes it gets a little tricky to kind of translate everything down to get dialed in for your riding style. So if that interests you to chat gear and find out more about what's a good fit for you, go ahead and hit the, hit the link in the description below or uh, reach out to us directly on curated.com. We're eager to hear from you and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>